we've rinsed off the small Mexican lace agate. And you can see it's just beautiful. But they're fairly, fairly tiny pieces. This is, look at that, that's really cool. So I'm kind of disappointed because I was really hoping to get a lot of the lacy pattern. And uh, not, a, not a whole lot of piece there. Hmm, and after it's been tumbled and they're probably, I'm interested to see what will be left, but they're calling this the small Mexican lace exit, agate, that's two pounds there, and uh, I'm never going to order small again because the pieces are just too little to do anything with. Okay, here's something new we started last week. It's um, some small Mexican lace and a few pieces of our Botswana agate that we had left over. So these large pieces, I mean we had a new barrel. We only had like three pieces, four pieces of Botswana agate left over. So we wanted to kind of clean up some of our stores and it's obviously going to need more 60, 90 coarse grit. But this is our Botswana agate, and there's a lot of little chips, but my gosh, it was so tiny when we started. So super tiny. But look at the lace patterns on that. Isn't that gorgeous? Hmm. This Mexican crazy lace is, I think, the prettiest of the agates that are out there. I mean, it is small to start with. And I just thought, you know, after running this for nine days in uh, coarse grit with no ceramic media, I was just going to beat it to, you know, pulverize it, but it didn't. We didn't really lose a lot of mass, but wow, look at how amazing those are. They're all so different. So what we want to do is get all of our little, mm, 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 mm. We want to get all of our little chips out of here and then add some ceramic media. Wow. There's some tiny pieces in here, but they really pack a huge punch. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. This lace pattern it really is crazy. But my gosh, it is so beautiful. Okay. This one I'm worried about. There's an awful lot of pitting on that. I think that one's going to have to come out. I do have some more um, of this set aside. kind of wanted to see how this first week ran before I put more in here, but barrel's not all that big, so we can add, since we're still in the 6090, I think we're going to add some more to this crazy lace bucket, and uh, let's just grab that right now while we're talking about it. Let's see what we 
have here. This came from the rock shed. This is small, crazy lace agate. So, you see, it didn't really lose a lot of mass. Because this is kind of the size, you know, this is what it looked like before it went in. It's just amazing. We are going to put some more in here. And now our barrel's two-thirds full. We are going to recharge it with some 6090 grit. I'm not going to put ceramic media in it yet. Because, um, I mean, if this is really all the chipping that we got, I think we're going to be in good shape. So I expect more chipping next week, and then we will probably be adding ceramic media at that time. Okay, sweet. Something new started. So we're going to start a new little chip bag and we're going to recharge this barrel with 6090 coarse silicone carbide grit and let it run for another week. Okay, we'll be back with our next new barrel. And we're back with our Mexican Crazy Lace. So we've got a lot of chippage in here. These are very small pieces. Very small to begin with. They're going to definitely need another couple of weeks in 6090, but I'm gonna add ceramic media now. I think all we're gonna do this week is dig through it's interesting is we're going to dig through and find the chips and then we're going to add ceramic media and then recharge this barrel these are really really tiny but they've got some extraordinary patterns Oh my goodness. <coughs> Pardon me. Mm. Wow, look at that. These are going to be so fantastic. But they're going to need... Oh my gosh. These are all like Zen Garden size, but we're going to run it anyway. We are going to get rid of these little chips. I mean, just look at these. Mother Nature's amazing. I and mean, these are just so stunning. Ooh. Look at these. Look at this. Alright, one more week in 6090 with ceramic media this time. Holy cow, my goodness, that's busy. Wow. This is going to be so much fun once they're all polished. Wow. We're going to call that one a chip. Just stunning. Let's 
so pretty. My goodness. Well, there wasn't as much chipping as I thought. Just those three or four pieces here. Yeah. Crazy lace. Totally awesome. We're going to add some the ceramic media and then uh, those pieces we pulled out earlier, the Botswana, once it gets, um, it, let's turn on the flat lap, then we'll We'll add those to this as well. This is our lovely Botswana agate. Oh, we got some chippage there. We added ceramic media this time to help cushion it a little bit. Just crazy. Just, hang on, let's, there we go. Woo! Put the patterning on that. Holy crap a moly. I love this stuff. Oh, all of these lovely little pieces of, I don't know what to do. I think this is going to just stay in 6090 for another week. I just want to remove any chips and uh, let it run again. It uh, still has a lot of shaping that has to happen. It's just a weird piece. Just a weird piece. But again, we're looking for chips. Whew, look at that. I don't believe that this batch um, of Crazy Lace is ever going to be that really pretty, all smooth, um, lovely pieces that we're used to, like with Jasper. I think this is gonna stay gnarly. You know, with the all these bumps and, and everything, I don't think any of these bumps and ridges are ever gonna come out. And I'm all right with that because this is just such a cool, cool stone, but I do want them nice and polished. I mean, look at that zigzag. Almost looks like an echocardiogram. <laughs> really cool. But we're just, we're looking for like things like this. A little tiny chip. Because even with the rough edges and all the bumps and grooves and everything, we still want to get the best surface that we can. We don't want any crazing. No crazing on our crazy lace! This stuff is awesome. I mean, really, if you had all the time in the world, you could just sit here and get lost in each and every piece. I mean, even though this piece, I mean, look how tiny this piece is, but look at how intricate the design. Millions of years created that. Wow. And these, of course, are wet, so they're nice and sparkly. finding too much more. Still just that one piece of uh, chippage. So 
These are like little tiny pebbles. I think if I was going to do crazy lace again, I would not um, buy the small size ever. I would uh, buy the medium or the large and then break it down myself. Because these, I mean really, these are pebbles. But they are insane pebbles. I think all these could make gorgeous pieces of jewelry. Alright, now I want to go through all the ceramic media and see if we find any more pieces of chips or anything in here. And you just comb through it and you look for broken pieces of media. And you look for any little chips. And I think we're good. I think it was just the one chip. Oh, all right. We'll add that to our chip bag. And then we will put uh, the ceramic media back in the barrel. And we will run it. We're not going to give it a wash cycle. We're just going to put um, some more 6090 coarse grit in here. And you know, um, it's a one and a half pound barrel. So we're going to use one uh, and a half tablespoons of grit. I try to use one tablespoon per pound of barrel and that seems to be working really well with across all the types of stones we've been using. The grit um, that seems to be the right amount very rarely is um, their grit left over after a seven day uh, tumble cycle. Uh, unless the barrel's overpacked and then if the barrel's overpacked the grit can't do its job and so it just kind of floats around in there and it comes out when you wash it and when you wash the barrel you see all that grit come out and which is just a waste of grit so try not to overpack your barrels that's why we try to do them at two-thirds full and uh yeah okay we will be right back with our next barrel in course This Mexican crazy lace, as you can see, is really tiny pieces, but the patterns on these are insane. I'm gonna zoom on this one. Look at these patterns. That's why, even though they're so tiny, they pack such a punch. This is gonna be fantastic agate when we're finished. Now, this is not going to be like the larger size tumbles that we do where we can get them really super smooth before we move them on. Um, there's just so much with this, it's never gonna smooth out completely. And so we're gonna let this stay a little rougher, textured, more gnarly, knobby. As long as it's not catching grit, we're gonna let it continue on because the patterns are so cool. We just wanna get any of the broken, like that's a broken piece. And we wanna make sure that we get those chips out of this barrel. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to 120. It might spend three or four weeks in 120. Um, to refine it the way we want it to, but to keep it in the 6090, we'll just beat it, beat it the hell up. And we don't really want to do that. Just, goodness, look at the layers and layers. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna give it a wash cycle. We're gonna send it to 120. So I think I have all the Botswana out of here. 
Yep, I got all the Botswana. Botswana we're holding back, but the Mexican Crazy Lace is going to get a wash cycle and it's going to move forward. Man, it is just crazy. Hence its name. Just crazy wild. Crazy wild patterns. I mean, we could look at this stuff all damn day. Good lord. This stuff's tiny. It is all, I don't know, half the size of a dime. So yeah. Just looking for like broken pieces. Wow. That's a nice big piece. <laughs> okay, I'm going to continue this off camera. Go through, find any broken pieces, put them in our uh, barrel for a... Uh, we've got a project for the chips to make gem bottles out of them. And uh, I'm not seeing any chips in there. No chips in there, that's good. Seeing any like grit catching issues, which is another good thing. Ceramic media is still looking pretty good. Okay, uh, wash cycle for this and then move to 120. Sweet. Wow, look at that one. Woo! See, even tiny things can pack a punch. Mother Nature is fantastic. Alrighty, we'll be back with our next barrel. Mexican Crazy Lace is going for a wash cycle and then it'll go to medium. We'll see it next week. Okay. We are back with our Mexican Crazy Lace, which is small to start with, small tumbling rough. Oh, look at that. There's a piece of golden healer in here in our 120. Hmm. Okay. So what we did last week is we took this, oops, hang on, I'm trying to fix the focus. There. So we took the Mexican Crazy Lace that was in 6090 for, I don't know, a month. And then we put it in, and maybe it was three weeks in 6090. Then we moved it to 120 to see if that would help. Um, because they're so tiny, we didn't, you know, we're not going to keep running it until it's perfectly smooth. But holy cow, I think it did do what we wanted it to do. It's still going to be gnarly and nubbly and, and uh, nubbly is not a word, but, you know, little nubs, little... Gosh, look at that. I think this stuff we're just going to run through. 
uh, because it's so small. We don't want to lose a lot of the mass. But the patterns are insane. I mean, that's a tiny little piece. Look at the patterns. Woo! Crazy. That's why they call it crazy lace. So we're on zoom, so these pieces look bigger than they are. But what we want to do is we want to make sure there's no sharp edges. And uh, I think it's doing its job. I really don't want to keep running it in 120. I do want to move this forward. There's obviously pieces that could stand to still be in 6090, but this is this batch we're running different than anything else we've run. Um, and it's because of the size. Still a little grit on there. For some reason, because it's so small, I don't think we're going to have the breakage, the, the chipping and breakage that I uh, see in other sizes and other stones. And agates are really hard, most seven. Yeah, I'm uh, going to do this in a wash cycle and move it to 500. We're just going to zip this along. Ooh, this one's kind of clear. I'm not going to take a lot of time with it this week. Um, I'm basically going to put it in a wash cycle and then move it to 500. And that is what I'm going to do with our Mexican crazy lace. Hmm. Okay. Could you imagine if this was a bigger size? Oh my gosh, we'd lose our minds. I guess we can only take crazy in small doses. <laughs> we'll be right back with our next barrel. with our Mexican Crazy Lace, which has been running for one week in our 500 pre-polished aluminum oxide. And we've already gone through all the ceramic media and we're good there. We found one chip, which uh, we're gonna add to our gem bottle uh, project. These are just really tiny pieces. These really are not chips, they're just tiny little pieces. But, I mean, this stuff, we started so small. Oh, look at that. There's a piece of that golden healer. That's ready to move forward. Okay. Now, all of this is has just insane patterns. I'll try and... There we are. Oh, my gosh. The dogs are going crazy. Sorry about that. They're seeing the rabbits outside, and they want to go play. But look at this crazy lace patterning. It's insane. Now we left it, we didn't um, run this overly long in the course stage, you know, which we normally would have to try to get rid of all of the little nubs and 
uh, bumps and whatever. But we left it because it was so tiny. I mean, these are really small pieces. But look at the patterns. They really pack a punch. I mean, you can see, you know, you're looking about an inch. Most of them are less than an inch. really super cool I pull out these bigger ones so you can see the patterns better let's try this one off so I'm going to uh, take this uh, and do a wash cycle. I'm going to move it to 1000. We are not treating this crazy last lace ba batch as we do most of them. Um, we're not trying for perfection of the stone surface because we're trying to protect the patterns as much as possible. We just want it to have a nice polish when we're finished. I mean, look at that. That's just all kinds of nubby little bumps and craters and all kinds of stuff. I think these really tiny, tiny pieces uh, we're going to put in the Zen Garden. And these really, oh my gosh, look at that. Crazy lace. I love this stuff. I mean, it's just amazing patterns and, and it's just insane. I guess that's why they call it crazy. Um, yeah, we're going to give it a wash cycle. We're going to just pull out a few of these super tiny ones. Super tiny. Super tiny. Yep, moving on to 1000 couple of weeks these will all be polished. Just want the really little ones. Okay, I think I got just all the little tiny tinies out. of years formed this. Okay. So this crazy lace agate actually came out of Mexico. Let's put that with the sun garden. Alright. Zen garden. Yeah, that's a chip. Okay. 1,000 um, after the wash cycles. Okay, we'll be right back. Mexican Crazy Lace. It's been in 1000 aluminum oxide pre-polish for one week. Now, we're going to check this over. It's all completely dry because, you know, like we've said in every other section of this video, it's been sitting for over a year in the barrel. Um, what we're looking for is to make sure if this is ready to move to... Um, 
Hmm. Okay, let's wet it down. Ooh, look at the colors pop. Sorry about the squeak. This is really tiny. So it's not going to be as perfect and as, you know, um, as most of the stones that we do. Boy, that one feels fantastic. That's ready for polish. Look at the insane patterns. If we don't find any broken, we're all right. This is sharper than what I would have liked. Um, typically. But again, this is basically the rough that we received was almost chips. It was really tiny, very small. And I'm never going to order tumbling rough this small again because um, you just lose so much of it. There's like nothing left by the time you're done. Wow, that's crazy beautiful. Crazy beautiful. I think we're going to be able to polish this. Thank God something's finally moving forward. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a really spectacular piece. Oh, look at this. Isn't that amazing? I don't want to drop it off my fingers here. Look at the patterns. And look at the shine on that. And uh, it's just been through 1000. Wait till it goes through polish. Alright, this is going to get a wash cycle, and then, um, and then a polish cycle. Oh my gosh. Whew. Gnarly. It's very bumpy, you know, on the ridges and stuff. Again, because we didn't want to put it in 6090 forever, because we didn't want to lose what left we what stone we had. But the patterns on this, I mean, I don't think anything else in this world is as diverse as Crazy Lace ag Agate. Mm. In color, in uh, patterning. I mean, look at this. It's got little orb, um, orbicular circles on it. It's got the agate, the waterline, the druzy pocket. Oh, I can't wait to see all this polished. Okay, you're gonna inspect it to make sure nothing's broken. Kind of hard to tell with them being so tiny. I don't think anything's broken. But we won't go through it all.
we are going to start with our uh, one barrel in polish. It's that Mexican Crazy Lace, and it's finally ready to see what's happening. So let's open the barrel and let's see the condition of the stones. Okay, this is usually pretty foamy. Ooh, look at that. And it's brown. Isn't that interesting? Okay, let's uh, set this aside. Let's dig out a stone. These are all really tiny, so I don't really know what we're gonna see without the zoom. Okay, let's rinse that off. Let's try it and drop it. Hit the camera. Okay. Oh, it's a success. Look at the polish. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful Mexican crazy lace. All right, let's pull out another one. Try it. <sighs> that is not slurry. That is the pattern in the stone. Look at that. Mexican crazy lace. It's an agate. It's absolutely beautiful. Just insane. I'm trying to see. I don't really think there was any big pieces in here. When I purchased this in the rough, um, I think it was from the rock shed, and it said small. So it was pebble size to begin with. Look at that shine. <gasps> so pretty. There's a slightly larger stone. It's really lovely. I'm just trying to move a little quickly here. Now these are, are dry. All that shine is the polish. And it's just stunning. I am so excited. We have an entire barrel to get through, so I'm going to go off camera and rinse all of these. And once I have them rinsed, we'll take um, we'll come back and take a look at them before they go into a burnish cycle to clean off all the slurry and make them not sticky anymore and everything else oh wow and everything else that we do oh my gosh oh my gosh wow this crazy lace is amazing okay we will be back in a few minutes with uh this barrel cleaned out and here's our mexican crazy lace it's completely dry um, it's just been rinsed off. The polish has been, the aluminum oxide, uh, which it spent one week in. But um, I wanted to show you before it went to the burnish cycle because that's going to last about a day. I just wanted to do this while I had them here. So we had a few of these super tiny pebbles actually break off. Let me give you 
Let's see this one better. See, it broke in the polish barrel. Normally, that would ruin the entire batch. Uh, the rock tumbling gods saved us. And uh, I think because they were so tiny, I don't know. I have no reason why this didn't ruin the finish on everything. But as you can see, see that shine, that polish? There's no scarring or crazing or frosting on, on this. So we got lucky. And uh, we're able to put these in burnish. And I've got this, this small one and a half pound barrel with the ceramic media that was in polish rinsed off with a tablespoon of borax already in here. That's the powder you see in there and some water. And we're gonna add these stones to this barrel for the burnish, but I just wanted to show you them beforehand. And the broken ones we are not putting in the burnish cycle. We'll put those in the Zen garden. These patterns are just amazing. Just look at these, they're so pretty. That's the one I showed you earlier. Check this pattern out. Really stunning. one's cool. I've been watching this one all the way through. I want this one. This one's so thin. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to pick out the ones that are the most colorful. Pulse rock and the stone perfectly smooth and polished. Let's see. Super tiny. Super cool. Mm. <sighs> I would love these stones to be bigger. So the next time I run Crazy Lace, I'm going to make sure that I don't buy smalls. Look at these. So pretty. Let's see if we can get a zoom. Take it off soon. Sorry about that. Just trying to focus on the stuff in the background. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I can't help it. These are so beautiful. All right, seriously. I have to stop doing this. All right, that's it. They're all going back in the broth barrel. All right, Mexican Crazy Lace is a success and it's finished. And now we are going to put it on the tumbler for a day and that will complete the burnish cycle. Uh, and when we're done, we do a, a little quick rinse 
a thorough quick, <laughs> quick rinse. And then uh, let them air dry. And then we'll get final fit photos. Yeah. This is the Mexican Crazy Lace after it came out of burnish. And it is a major success. Look at the shine on all these little lovelies. So beautiful. My only um I hate to use the word complaint, but is that they are so stinking tiny. They're, they're pebble size. But even though they're a pebble size, look at the intricate designs that Mother Nature did. This is just insane. Whoops, trying to... Sorry about that, I zoomed the wrong way. So this is, these are really tiny. You know, it's like, look at that. That is, you know, pebble size, but look. That design. Mexican Crazy Lace. This is from um, the Rock Shed, but it was, listed when I purchased it it was listed as small and uh, it did nothing but get smaller and smaller so we did not shape it a lot because we didn't want to lose any more of the mass and I really wish I would have because as you can see there were some grit catchers in there but holy cow Too much. So sorry. Wow. That one go. I think this one's my. Right. I don't know. I can't. I can't claim a favorite. Because there's so many. Yeah, I'm claiming this one is my favorite. It looks like it's got a little volcano on the top. I mean, what must have been going on? What kind of primordial soup was happening when these stones were created? Because look at all the difference, the different colors, the different patterns. What was happening when these were formed? Damn. Look at all that grit. This is what happens when you don't clean the stones really well. So that was like a, these were left like this for teaching moments. So you can see when you don't run things through, when you rush them through the uh, course stage and you don't get all the shaping done and uh, try to alleviate all the pits and the and the uh, fracture lines and whatnot. What happens if you just let them go? Well, this is what happens. Grit gets stuck. Ooh, 
else I can run drop it. These are just beautiful. They are so, so beautiful. Mexican Crazy Lace. It is really just pebbles. Good God, could you imagine if these were regular sized tumbled stones? You'd lose your freaking mind. Mm. Wow. Now, if this was not, um, a video for experimentation, you know, to show what happens um, if you followed all the rules versus if you took shortcuts. Um, I would throw these stones back into stage one to do some shaping and I'd start over, but these are, they'll ground to nothing. So I am going to run Mexican Crazy Lace again. I'm going to get a larger rough um, and I'm going to do it right because these are just too beautiful to not run again. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And imagine what these are going to look like if they're run correctly with no grit catchers in them. Wow. Okay. That is it for Mexican Crazy Lace.